Hi, I'm Hannah Bernard. You're watching Market One Minute, and today we have Stefan Schaus, CEO and Director of CellCube Energy Storage Systems. So tell me a little bit about the CellCube's technology and how it measures up against other energy storage companies. Mm -hmm. So unlike other technologies, yeah, um, cell cube uh, technology is based on vanadium redox flow batteries. Okay. And vanadium is a, is a substance in the earth crust that's 10,000 more uh, times available as lithium, for example. Mm. So as such, a very abundant material. Mm -hmm. And what we, uh, what we experience or what we have been researching on and developing on is uh, how to make this uh, as a good usage for, uh, for batteries. Mm -hmm. yeah? And the advantage of vanadium is truly that um, you have an asset that never degrades its, ca uh, its characteristics, its mm. capacity. Yeah? And so that means that uh, you have the same capability of storing the energy mm -hmm. in 20 to 30 years as wow. you have today. And that is very much unlike uh, other battery technologies as we know right now from, uh, for example, our mobile phones, mm -hmm. yeah, where we have to exchange the, uh, the battery after a certain amount of time or just replace the whole phone. Great. And let's talk about the cost effectiveness because obviously that's, who, that's what the end user is going to care about. So let's just kind of dive into cost effectiveness um, in regards to this new generation of energy storage. Yeah, so imagine yeah, uh, for 100 years we have been uh, working with an energy system that has a certain cost structure. Mm -hmm. Now when you want to revolutionize it, yeah, you first think of solar and wind and, uh, and renewable assets, yeah? decarbonization, yeah. Uh, but also uh, new cost effectiveness of, uh, of the supply solution. Mm -hmm. yeah? And uh, our energy storage system is a perfect co-located um, asset next to renewable energy uh, resources. And okay. with that, we enter into a terrain that is much lower than any other battery energy storage uh, uh, system can deliver on a cost per kilowatt hour level to consumers, to uh, off-takers of, of all kinds. And what kind of metrics are there that we can refer to? So typically what you, you calculate in two metrics. One is um, on a levelized cost of energy or a levelized cost of storage as we like our component to be called. Mm -hmm. Yeah, And we are um, hitting here really uh, base load territory. What that means is that together with a wind resource or with a solar resource, we can uh, deliver power and energy at levels that uh, traditionally have been served by coal-fired power plants, gas peaking plants. And so okay. And who is CellCube's target market right now? Okay, so we are targeting, unlike other uh, battery vendors and, and battery manufacturers, we are, we are targeting a segment uh, that is large scale. Mm -hmm. That is, uh, uh, for example, uh, uh, think of a whole um, a shopping mall. Okay. Yeah, we take that whole shopping mall and run it off of our energy storage systems. Okay. And what is the company's market focus right now? So yeah, we are, we are focusing with CellCube, unlike other uh, battery vendors and battery manufacturers, to very large scale um, uh, plant style uh, okay. type of, of installations, um, co-located with solar and wind. Yeah, to either replace or to, to uh, coexist with traditional thermal um, power plants. Yeah. Uh, helping to decarbonize the industry, yeah. helping to decarbonize uh, and, and to make this uh, a better world. <laughs> yes, and that's what we need right now. Yeah. So in terms of how to understand the size of a project, I want to talk a little bit about that. We know that the sales have been reported in the megawatt energy storage project. Can you just mm -hmm. give us some context? We need to put this in perspective. Let's say our average size is around about 20 megawatt yeah, okay. per project. Um, so what does this mean? When you think of it, um, it's probably the equivalent of taking a whole town uh, with 20,000 inhabitants uh, uh, off grid. Yeah? Or let's see, we, we keep it on grid, but uh, mm -hmm. together with solar huh. and the storage component, we can deliver 24-7 uh, of its uh, energy supply. Great, well, we'll have to keep an eye on everything coming from CellCube. Thank you so much for sharing all that with us. Thank you, Hannah.